All right. So again, because gold is so heavy, we just got to shake the material really good and the gold always goes to the bottom. So shake it up good. Well, not so much that it's throwing it out of the pan, but... And then I start rocking it back and forth from front to back with the riffles in the front. And it's pushing the gold down and catching it on the riffles so I can get rid of this light stuff and get down to the heavy stuff. And I call this, I, I call it myself, I call it hydraulicking. I push the pan into the water and the water rushing in lifts the light sand off and washes it out. And I do that about three times. And I'll take some more water back in in case that gold has made it to the top of the edges. And then I'll rock it back and forth again. Get that gold back in the bottom and do that hydraulic. And you can see how much of that light sand is just floating right off of there. And back. Put the gold down on the bottom again. And hydraulic. As you get down to the finer stuff here, getting close, you just do the do the push a little bit lighter, so it's not taking all the black sand and stuff. But every time you shake it, all that light sand comes to the surface, and all that black sand and gold hiding down on the bottom. there you see the black sand start to peek out and you can see the black sand there now and then every time you put water in it and shake it up the black sand falls to the bottom and the light sand comes to the top and just wash it off This particular creek has some rubies and garnets in it too, which I actually collect. Some people like them for jewelry. So now we're down to a little ring of black sand. And then I want to let it just sit in the bottom. And drain, drain the water away from it, and let the water drain out. Let the water drain out of the black sand. Wash that light stuff off. That'll stick up there. And I put some clean water in, and then I swirl it. I swirl the water over the black sand, and it takes some more of the light stuff out of the pan. You don't want to be playing with your gold on the edge and lose it. So take it again, shake her up, keep that gold on the bottom. And I tip the pan back, let it dry. And I take this water 
I swirl it around. That's why you like a big bottom surface. Gives you more working area. I swirl it around and it takes the light sand off until I get going down into the black and the gold will start to show up. Even rubies and garnets start to show up. in here before you get rid of it too if you think a flake fell in there or something. Shake it back up again. Drain it again. You just keep doing this till you get right down to nothing. And then all of a sudden there the gold will start to pop through the, the black sand. get down to nothing here you can just thin out the black sand and it'll expose anything and we got scuff nothing in there so we got to dig deeper thanks for watching